This is the Hubson X4 transmitter model H107L. I'm going to go over some of the features, well actually all the features and functions. In mode 2 this would be your throttle stick, throttle up, throttle down, rudders, left, right, this would be elevator, up, down, this would be aileron, left, right, this is your rudder trim, this is your elevator trim, this is your aileron trim, and this is usually throttle trim. First thing you want to do is press down on the left joystick and keep it held down and turn the power on. You'll see this menu. Press the left joystick one more time. Now we're on the home screen. Now the po most important thing here we want to make sure is all trims are centered in at 50. So check them all. As you see, my left one was at 49, so I'm going to press it to hits 50 and I hear a beep. As soon as I hear that beep, that means it's centered. Now I'm going to go to the elevator trim. Say it was at 49. Go to 50 until you hear the beep. Now check your aileron trim. Say it was at 52. Go down to 50 and listen for the beep. Okay, now all the trims are centered in F50. Turn the power off. Now I'm going to go into the settings. Press and hold the left joystick down. Turn the power button on till you come to this menu. Press down on the left stick one more time. Now to get into the settings menu, press the right joystick down and hold it until you see SE. SE is your settings menu. First thing that's going to default to is your reversing. So if you want to reverse the rudder, use these buttons here. And you see if I press it one time, you see how it's moving to normal and reverse. You could do the same with the aileron. You can see right here it's going up and down. And the same with the LRN. You can see it's going left and right. Now push the left joystick down one time. Now you're into your sensitivity here in normal mode. So you could set your rudder sensitivity here with the rudder trim. Set it wherever you want. Now I'm going to go to the Aileron trim. Which you have to push the joystick down one time. Okay, that goes to Elevator trim. You'll see the three dots. Go up or down to wherever you want it. Push the left stick down one more time. Now it's Aileron trim. You'll see the three dots and use the trim button, set it wherever you like. Once you got these set where you want, press down the right joystick one time. It's going to click. You're going to see the red and green flash and LED and you're going to see expert. So one left click in expert mode is your reverse menu. Again, go to rudder, re elevator, and aileron and set these wherever you want. Left click it one more time. We're in sensitivity. Okay, it's at 90, but I want, let's say I want 100, so I'm going to take the rudder trim and set it to 100. Left click one more time. I'm on elevator trim. It's set at 100 so that's where I want it. Left click one more time. Now we're on aileron trim and that's where I want it. 
To save the settings and exit the menu, push the right stick and hold it. You hear the beep. Now we're out of the settings menu and we're in expert mode. Push right on the stick one more time, now we're in normal mode. Okay, that's all the settings. Last thing I'm going to do is tell you how to change the modes, which also calibrates the joysticks. It's two steps in one. If you want mode two, which is throttle on the left stick, take the left stick and go to the top left hand corner. Now hold it there, don't move it. Take the right stick and go into the top left hand corner. Hold it there, don't move it. Hold both sticks, turn the power button on. You'll see the LED flashing red and green. Now move the joysticks both in a circle two times. This is calibrating the sticks. So that's one, two, let both sticks go. Now take any trim button and hold it. Press and hold it. And as soon as the LED turns red flashing, you're done. So now it's set to mode two and you calibrated the joysticks. Turn the power off. That's it. If you want to go mode one, left joystick to the top left hand corner, hold it. Right stick to the bottom left hand corner and hold it. Now while holding the two, switch on the power. Let the joysticks go. Move them in the circle two times to calibrate the sticks. Let the sticks go. Hold any trim button up or down and keep it pressed down. Now we have a red flashing light. Now we're calibrated for mode one, which is throttle on the right. And both joysticks have been calibrated. Turn the power off. And that's all the features and the functions I know of this radio. I've looked all over the forums, YouTube, the user manual. If I find any more, uh, check under my video description and I'll add it. You could also check my website. I have a link to it under my video description. Um, that's about it. I've covered everything I could cover here.